Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! In today's video, I want to take a look at this new portable folding watercolor set. The particularity of this one is that it has 18 pastel colors, whereas the other sets I've reviewed were full of more standard colors. This one is light pink plastic, but the same set also comes in light blue plastic. It has a small water brush, the velcroed sponge at the top, and a nice mixing tray made of white plastic. The water brush doesn't clip as well in this one than the other sets I have. Regardless of that small issue, due to the rotating nature of the trays, it's probably a good idea to secure this set with a rubber band if one wants to travel with it. I prepared a sheet to swatch out the colors. As this set features pastel colors, I go into this swatching session with the expectation that most, if not all colors, will be opaque. The most common way to create a pastel hue for a color is to add white in it. I had no issues with rewetting the colors and painting the swatches. The colors lay down nicely. The set has a nice range of colors overall, perhaps lacking a bit in greens. It also has a color that is meant to be a very light grey or blue, but it looks mostly white on paper. As this set is mostly opaque, it might work more like gouache than watercolor. As with the other sets of this kind, this one doesn't include any color or paint information. Each color is named with a letter and a number, there is no indication of pigment composition or light fastness rating. I decided to put together a small reference chart as I did with the other sets, even if this one requires it a bit less. Since the paints are more opaque, the way they look dry in the pan is much closer to the way they look painted on paper, so this lessens the risk of confusion. For the chart, I used one of the trays to trace a shape on a piece of watercolor paper. I cut it up and labeled the colors. Once the colors were painted in the right place, I let the paper dry and laminated it with packing tape. The very last step was to attach it under the set with tape so that it can fold out opposite of the paint trays. With the nature of these colors, I decided to test them out on an illustration rather than a study painting. I drew a bunch of plants, just for fun, as I felt these colors would be fun for this subject. I also used the water brush that came with the set. I loved how the colors we wet and looked on paper, they were super easy to use. The brush worked quite well too. The mixing tray is made from the same plastic as the other sets, 
and it's remarkable in that the paint doesn't bead on it. I was able to paint larger areas and also line up the drawing using the same water brush. I quickly stored away the set after using it, as I wanted to check if the wet paint transfers under the other trays. It did a bit, but it was really easy to remove the dry paint, and it doesn't seem to have had any real impact on the paint cakes. If you like pastel colors and want to use them for journaling or illustration, this is definitely a nice option. As with the other sets of this kind, this one is a really fun, easy to use and affordable option. Thank you very much for watching, take care, bye bye. Before I leave, here's a reminder that I have accounts on Redbubble and Society6 for fun things like stickers and mugs. Bye bye!